Hey guys, we're back. Charlie from uh, Long Island came to visit. He bought, brought Joyadels. Got to give him extra credit for that. And he brought us two different heads. This one is a Dart LS3 Pro 1 280 that he did a little work to. The, this is the first port we did. He did a nice cleanup job on it uh, with 60 grit finish. He said the chamber had uh, pretty horrendous ridges around the valve job. He took care of all of that. He did open up the exhaust throat a touch. It's uh, now almost 88, where it was about 86 stock. The uh, intake, he really kind of left the throat where it was. As far as our liquid, looks pretty darn good right in the bowl. We got a little hit on the other side of the guide. Just the slightest bit on the chamber and a couple drips coming around. Let's see what the bore looks like. Okay, the bore, because uh, now what did we, we did this at 750. This was 750 lift. Charlie's going to be running a 750 lift cam. So it's flowing quite a bit at that point. And at 750, it had zero swirl on the swirl meter. As you can see from the angle of that uh, attack there, it really has very little swirl at that point. Interesting. All right, the valves are 2.165. The intake has got a back cut. It's got a nice powdering of blue on it. It's got a nice margin. The exhaust is a 1.59. In reality, it's a tulip design with a nice high margin. They are manly severe duties because this is going to be uh, RPM pretty high. Okay, looking right down his throat, you can see Charlie did a nice job cleaning it up, keeping the curves the way they're supposed to be. Looks really good. Okay, he finished the short side with a light cartridge roll. Looks really good. Okay, on the exhaust, like I said, he opened up the throat a little bit. You can actually see, let's see if we can get, get it out of focus. You can see exactly where he blended it into the radius. I can show you the stock radius. Dart likes to use a radius on their exhaust. I completely agree. And you can see Charlie did a nice job all around that port. Okay, exhaust, cartridge roll finish, looks real good. Okay, different view of the exhaust port. LS3 exhaust port is nice. It's a little big, but uh, Charlie did not make it bigger than stock. In fact, he's got a couple of them in here that were just barely cleaned up. We're gonna pick the one that has the least amount of work and we're gonna reflow. Uh, the ones that have the least amount of work. That'll be the next video. Okay, let's take a look and see how it did as far as flow and swirl and air speeds. Okay, some quick specs on uh, the engine. It's going to be about 400 cubic inch. It's going to have a 750 solid roller. It's going to be a CID intake with a dominator. It's going to be 12 to 1 compression, 7,500 RPM. Open for 700 naturally aspirated with a 400 shot. It's going to be in a Fox body Mustang with some mini tubs. Okay, how did we do? Well, 300 with 214.8. Not bad, but not exactly exceptional for that big a valve. Okay, 500 were 310 and change. Getting it done. At 700, we're almost 350. At 750, we are at 350. We did our air speeds at 750 because that's the size cam he's going to be using. As far as how these compare to what Dart said, uh, they're a little shy. You guys can look that up. That really doesn't even surprise me, to be honest. Let's take a look at our swirl. We got a decent swirl progression until she starts to lose it. Like, you see this S? We had a little bit of noise right here. I put S there because I could just hear it separate off of the short side a little bit. 
and the manometer would bounce a little bit. So it had a little bit of transition right there. And you can see we go from a nice swirl progression to zero. These should be both zero. They were all zeros. And you can see by the dicom on the bore, it really doesn't have any swirl. I personally would like it a little bit better that this was very low swirl and then it changed, but that's not how uh, LS3 stuff is designed as far as I can tell. As far as our airspeed, 750 lift, well below 300. A little fast on the floor, a little bit less on the roof. The, uh, the pinch is actually quite big on these, so the airspeed is not a problem. As far as your roof speed from side to side, not bad. I would want them to be a little bit closer, 192, 160. I would rather have it a little bit closer, but it's similar to a Ford design. All right, the air wants to stick to the center of the cylinder. How did we do on our short side? Actually, quite well. Look at how even we are side to side. A little fast in the middle. Could probably give it a little more area or a little more layback, and uh, that would probably help at the higher, at the higher lifts. We should note that changing the layback on an LS3 will alter how the engine draws fuel. And if you want to know more about that, that is uh, Darren Morgan was talking about the short side radius on uh, hypercritical short side radius on design like this. Okay, we'll take a look at the exhaust. We had quite a bit of noise right around uh, 0.15 to 0.25, but then it cleaned up and we got decent flows out of it. We're almost 200 at 5. At 7, we're at 223.8. At 750, we're at 227. And then you put a pipe on it at, at 750, it goes to 252.4. It's a big pipe, though. It's a 2-inch diameter pipe, which he's going to be running on the car. So that'll get it done. As far as our air speeds on the exhaust port, side to side, we look real good. All right, top of the port works really well. This is at 750 lift. From side to side here, we look really good. The center of the port and the floor could use a little work, which has to do with your your throat probably more than anything else. But we'll notice, uh, we'll take a look at one that hasn't been touched, and we'll see if that's uh, better or worse on uh, the dark design. All right, guys. Pretty cool project. I appreciate you guys hanging out. Have a good night.